Hi, this is Scott with Learn to Stop Hunger, and today we're going to look at how to extend Notepad++ using plugins. For those of you not familiar with Notepad++, this is a great free alternative to the Notepad application that comes with Windows. Uh, it offers a considerable number more features than the basic Notepad, and it can be quite useful for just editing basic text files and for uh, basic software development tasks as well. But today, what I want to show you is how you can extend the built-in Notepad++ functionality by using many of the plugins that are available. Here, as you can see, I've got Notepad++ open. And uh, if you don't have this already, just go out to your favorite search engine and search for Notepad++. You can see here it's a Notepad with two plus plus, or I'm sorry, with two plus signs after it. But anyway, it's really cool that they have a plugins feature built into the application. All you got to do is go to plugins, and go to plugin manager, and do show plugin manager. Once you come in here. You've got a decent sized list of plugins. And let's say that you want to install one of these. For example, one that I found to be really cool was this preview HTML. So let's go ahead and put a check mark there. You can see here uh, there's a description of the plugin down below so you can get more information. There are URLs here if you want to go out to the website and get additional details on the particular plugin. Once you're satisfied with that, go ahead and click on the install button and it will go ahead and install the plugin for you. Right now it's downloading and then it installed it. It's pretty quick. And now it's saying, you know, Notepad++ needs to be restarted in order to use the plugin. So go ahead and say yes. And once you've restarted, the plugin should be installed. So if we go up here to Plugins menu, you'll see there's actually a new menu item on here for Preview HTML. Additionally, we've got a new button here on the toolbar for Preview HTML, so you can access it either way. Just to show you how this particular plugin works, if we open up a new document and type in some markup here, we will be able to preview that directly from Notepad++. Alright, I'm back now and I have finished writing up a very basic HTML document as you can see here. So the next thing that I want to do is run my plugin as I mentioned. I've got an item here on the toolbar for it. I can click and it brought the preview right up for me there. You can see we've got our title for our page up here, we've got our header, and we have our paragraph text. And actually for this one, I don't know if this is true for all of them, but if we go up to the plugins menu, we even get more options. Um, if you go to this menu here for preview HTML, we can bring up that same window, preview window, using this preview HTML option, but additionally we can choose which web browser we're going to preview as. So Originally we viewed it as IE7, so now let's say we want to view it as IE9. And it looks like you actually have to restart Notepad++ in order for that change to take effect. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And now if I go ahead and launch again. Now, granted, um, this is very simple HTML, so it's probably not going to look much different, but we are now viewing in IE9, and it looks like, let's see, I've not really experimented with this a whole lot, but it's kind of looking like you might be able to dock this thing, and you can. Wow, that is really impressive for this plugin here. So let's say 
I want to add to my H1. Wow, and the, the preview window actually updates on the fly. That's just outstanding. Uh, you know, especially for just a simple free application like Notepad++. This is an example of one very powerful plugin that you can leverage here. So you may want to check that out. That's the HTML preview plugin. And like you saw from that plugins menu, there are a whole bunch of other options. And from what I understand, you can actually install plugins um, on the side as well, uh, just doing a standalone install by opening up the plugins folder under the installation directory of your Notepad++ and you can copy in the plugin DLL there and restart Notepad++ to load it up. So I imagine that you could find even more plugins uh, out on the internet that are not even listed in this menu here. Anyway, I hope that you will take the time to explore some of these plugins and see just how powerful Notepad++ can be.